Hello there. Hello there. Like Obi Wan. <laughs> if we if we're clever enough to edit our videos better, I could put a little thing of Obi Wan popping in there. You could. You don't have to do that. No. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to do that. Well, we need like we need a, something better, don't we? Yeah. In the comments, if you want to put what you edit your videos on, that yeah, would be helpful. That would be massively helpful. Because Movie Maker is terrible. Great. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to another video. I'm Lewis, this is... Jess. Jess. <laughs> we are Class of 93 Retailers. And we thought we'd go through and show you some of the things that we've bought recently from charity shops, I think. Yeah. All from charity shops, aren't they? Charity shop, yeah. 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 You go first? I'll go first. Oh. So, this very shiny thing. Unfortunately, the, the, um, the price has come off of it because my mum's polished it for us. Um, but it's a... Made in Sheffield, silver plate, teapot. Um, my mum says it's a nice one. She's very knowledgeable on things like this. It's in pretty good condition. She's cleaned it up really nice. Um, I think she's advised me to put it on for 30. Oh, cool. And I don't think it was, it was maybe you four pounds. It, no, yeah, yeah, it was from the Eden Thorpe one, wasn't it? So yeah. not much more than four pounds. So hopefully a good sale. It would be better for Etsy, but I'm a bit eBay. Narrow minded at the minute. Yeah. Well, we've got some stuff on Etsy, haven't we? But I don't think we've had a sale yet. No. We haven't really built up that. I'm bit, yeah, yeah, it's a bit like sort of disheartened by it, but I oh, probably yeah. should. Have. Well, I shouldn't be, should I? No, you've already started it. Really. It's only patience, but. Uh, we picked these um, set of Disney, I think they're pullback cars. Paid £5, and it's a full set. So they sell them currently, I think, at the cost cutter. I think I saw, or they were at Costco to recently. Costco. Costco. Thank you. I know we do. Um, it's full set. Uh, paid fiver, and I think about twenty pound mark. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, but I mean even fifteen because they're they're pre-owned. Pretty happy with that. Just a little bit of hopefully quick turnover. Yeah, because they were cheap. Yeah. Uh, I was just gonna look up for. The ex queen. She's not the real. She's not a queen now, is she? No. <laughs> Why did you look so shocked? At that? Just the way that you like the ex. Well, it is the ex queen, isn't it? The last queen. Rest in peace. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's a sealed uh, thousand piece jigsaw. Um, uh, it's relatively new, isn't it? I mean, she's what about eighty then? Yeah, it's like a year on it. No. By Gibsons, and you paid. Four ninety five, and I think it's worth the Queen Gibson's jigsaw. Yeah. There's one. Oh, that's pretty old though. Brand new. Uh, twenty pounds. Brand new. Twenty pounds. That's all yeah. right. Maybe not the best buy in the world, but. Hey, you've only spent fiver on it. Yeah. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Just as a Thank quick, you. hopefully a quick flip. Yeah. Um. Next. Oh, I'll do this one because it's huge and it's kind of in the way. So, um, you might come across these before. Okay, so this is Disney's Lion Guard, which is part of the Lion King franchise. Um, it's massive, it'll be fun to package. We ever spent £12 on it. Uh, it has got a bunch of figures. Which is quite rare. Normally, you just pick it up, and it's it's missing figures, um, and it's literally just the the stand. Um, we've bought quite a few of these before, and it's the is tall it the, one. Is it the training lair? Yeah, this one's training um, lair. Uh, we once bought one of these, and it was one pound fifty. Yes, yeah, that. When we first started out, we were blown away by it. Oh yeah, there you go. So wow. there's some on for seventy-five pounds. This one is a, a really good one to look out for, but even the smaller ones go for around thirty pounds. I mean, well, the thing is though, like there's one there that's sold for twenty-two pound fifty, but they've just put it on for twenty-two pound fifty. Yeah. yeah. There's one there that went for seventy. Yeah, there's some that have gone for high prices. Um, I was got a little bit of damage though. Hasn't yeah. It? In fact, I might. It might be worth finding one of the others and then bundling it together. Yeah. Because either way, that's going to be a nightmare to package. I think, we, as you say, with the figures. You might even have one, I'm not sure. Yeah, with the figures, that makes it It does make a difference. Uh, 
<laughs> what have I got there, mate? Can you remember what he's called? I don't even know what he's from. Is it the good dinosaur? No, it's not mm. the good dinosaur. Give me a minute. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of editing in this video, if you can tell. It's alright. Um, <laughs> dinosaur train, T Rex. <laughs> My tail wiggles. Oh, I'm assuming he does. Yeah. Something. Apparently so. From 2010, Jim Henson Company. Um, get his little arms. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I haven't tested him yet, obviously. Where's the. Oh, the must have been obviously a sticker on it. I don't think I paid much. A couple uh, I think of it was pounds. about £5. Pounds, oh, is it £5? Pounds? And it's according to cool. eBay, it's worth about £20. Pounds. So, hopefully, as long as he works, that won't be too bad to buy at all. As long as he works. As long as he works. Famous last Famous words. Famous last words. Okay, so I have a close to home Sheffield Steelers jersey. Uh, Steelers are hockey, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to go and see them play, to be honest. Yeah, ice hockey. Um, it's relatively small size. In fact, it doesn't even say, but I think it's as oh, it's there. It was a small, uh, but it was £1.95. Um, haven't found it. Obviously, it's just sort of like a training top, but I would imagine we'll probably get at least 14 out of that. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's reasonable, isn't um, it? Yeah, not bad. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, this was quite a cool find, I thought, anyway. Um, just a vintage UFO lamp. Did you? <laughs> yeah, I have one, yeah. What, exactly the same? Oh. Uh, I haven't checked it yet, but Child of the, the 90s. Um, what do you call them, like the bristles? They're in a sealed nice. sealed bag, oh, really? so I don't think it's been particularly used. It's the fiber optics, isn't it? Remember when fiber optics was like yeah, that's it. the latest technology? Yeah. And you just had the, the bushy um, lamp in the corner. That's right. Ten pounds <laughs> paid on this one. I shall have a look to see what they've sold for. Vintage UFO lamp. 40, 10 pound into 40, as long as it works and everything's all right with it. So hopefully 30 pound potential profit there. Cool. I think this might be a fail. Oh really? You it looks, sure. I've seen something like that when I was walking through New York. I'm uh, sure it, prices vary, big time. So this is a NYPD. Uh, it's officially licensed t-shirt, another small size to be fair, um, it's a small, probably wouldn't have picked this up normally but it was £1.95 from the air ambulance so couldn't go wrong, there's literally, it's in such good condition, but it just needs a bit of a wash, a little bit of something there, but no holes, embroidery looks nice, real tag, um, yeah, they vary massively from like five pounds to one went for thirty-five pounds. No oh, well. So mm. we'll just put it yeah. on as a bit of a gamble and see what we get really. Yeah. That's strange, always, isn't it? Yeah, always open to offer. It's nice colour too. Right, keep it. it. <laughs> oh, is it your size? Yeah, well. Oh there you go. Um this is a little bit of a fail, I think. We've had quite a few um baseball gloves in the past, haven't we? And they sell really well. Um, this was in Charity Shop, three ninety nine. It's Rawlings. It looks pretty much brand new, I would say. Why do you think it's fair? Well, looking at it. Oh really? There's one. There's one that's pre-owned for a tenner. Yeah. Well, it's not a fail, is it? It's not a no. not lost, but it's not massive. But you meant just because of the size. It's obviously no. a small one for a chill, child. A child. I know what you're like, Jess. You like what ten pound minimum <laughs> profit. So this might be like four pounds. That could be one of yours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not greedy, I just... <laughs> <laughs> you just get that buzz when it's a yeah, big do, turnover. Yeah, that's right. It's very exciting. That's right. um, so this is a Honda Racing uh, polo shirt. Yeah, it's got a collar. That's really nice, nice condition. It's got all the sleeves all labelled up. Doesn't have... Um, what are they called? Sponsors though. It's literally just 100% Honda. 
that which is quite oh, nice. Is that Honda Ra- oh, yeah, that it's Honda Racing. Racing. Oh, okay. um, yeah, it's cool. Though. Size medium. I paid six pounds for it, and oh, I'm sure it was worth. I want to say around twenty pounds. Um, yeah, they tend to go around twenty, between twenty and thirty pounds. Uh, that's like that one, isn't it? So yeah, good. Uh, Bit of profit in that. It's very nice though, I like that. Mm-hmm. Um, this, it was dirt cheap, is one of the reasons. It's dirt cheap and it's vintage. Yeah, very. It's pretty cool actually. Kitty Craft Super Helter Skelter. I don't know if it's got a year on it. Maybe on the inside there's a it's year. Like, um, 80s, 90s? Oh yeah, yeah, 1992. Yeah. Um, I obviously checked it yet, but it was only two pounds. Um, and looking on eBay, there's one that went for 21.99. One that went for a tenner, but it's not as old as this. Yeah, so if I go for the twenty one ninety nine, that's twenty pound profit off a two pound purchase, which is pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Obviously needs checking, but not too bad. All right, never seen this before. It's the Royal Family game, but the Royal Family is in the TV show. You watch the Royal Family as a kid? I don't think I did. Oh, you missed out. Did I? Yeah. Terrible TV, really. Uh-huh. But no, uh, <laughs> it's a classic. I can't really watch it as a kid. I don't think it is. Wow. No. Have to get I know what. Yeah, put it on YouTube. Yeah. Um, we paid one ninety nine, and we're on for around twenty. Hopefully, it's all there. But if it's not all there, then we can always split it out as parts. Um, uh, one went for nine. But there aren't many on that I can find. Not oh, this one. But yeah, I'll probably put it on for between fifteen, between fifteen and twenty pounds with offers. See what we get for that. Pretty much bought it for the nostalgia. <laughs> you should watch it with me now. We can play it if you want to. <laughs> uh, so this, we've literally just picked this up um, about an hour ago. Oh wow. So it's a Star Wars AT-ST Walker. It's 2002 Lucasfilm Hasbro. Um, it's in very good condition. I can't see any damage as such. Um, all the moving parts seem to be working. Uh, bit of a bargain really. I mean, it was only, it was three pounds. And according to eBay, I mean, there's one there with a figure in Germany, but even so, £44. Pounds. There's one £16 on bids, £20, pounds, so that was like a good buy. Mm. And then, even better, there's a Chewy figure inside, if I can get him out. Um, now this, again, is vintage. It was quite modern though, but it is vintage. So I was going to ask. <laughs> what are you doing? I was going to get myself into trouble. Still am, I suppose. And say, You're gonna say <laughs> does he, he not is belong it Star in there? Trek? No, <laughs> does he not belong in there? But these are the bad guys and he's the good guy. I think there's a bit where he like yeah. takes one over. That's what I thought. <laughs> um, so this is 1995 Kenner Chewy. Let's have a look. 1995 Kenner Chewbacca. Yeah. Yeah. So three pounds into I mean I'm not being too ambitious, let's say thirty quid for that. Well three pounds into thirty quid probably. Yeah, yeah. I could put it with it, I suppose. Mm. Yeah. I think I'd bundle it. Yeah, pretty good find from a charity shop that we don't normally find good things from as well, isn't it? Yeah. We found it's one more, of, it's more of a there. furniture one, isn't it, to be fair to yeah, it. Yeah, we found a couple of bits. Yeah. I tend to find clothes. Um but yeah, it's it's not massively They've got a real big thing um, with weddings at the minute. Oh, yeah. They've had some sort of wedding shop closed down, maybe, and they've given all their stock. It's just a massive yeah. wedding dress. Actually. £250 for a wedding dress. So if no, you need a... £25, that one in the... Oh, yeah, it was in the window, in, yeah. Well, so if you need a wedding they were dress... were £250, but now yeah. it's £25. heavily reduced. Um, so... And they're not bad, to be fair, are they? No, they're not. They're not brand all. New. They've not been worn and things. They're brand new. Not that pre-owned matters, but... No. Um, so, Oxford Reading Tree. So this was £2 
and um, if anybody remembers Chip and Biff, apparently this doesn't. No. You, you don't remember Chip and Biff? I don't Biff. think so. This was a classic when we were at school. Maybe. Your primary school must have been a bit odd. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> so, um, they're just reading games, I assume. I haven't opened them, it's quite heavy. Um, bought it for two pounds. A little bit of a punt because I couldn't find any salts. But there is one on for 40 pounds. Wow. So I figured it was worth the gamble. Let's check if they've been sold since. I wonder if that's like nostalgia or if it's like, you know, like a school buying it or something. Could be either, I suppose, couldn't it? Yeah, I mean, these were like, these were the main books when I was at the primary school. They might have been. I just, you obviously, just clearly did, I didn't did listen. Read. Yeah, no, <laughs> when I didn't. you were at primary. I wasn't very good at reading. Obviously. I was more of a maths, maths person. Yeah. Um, so I got two things from a trip with work to Belfast um, the other day, which I managed to bring back with me. Uh, this, which we've never seen this before, have we? No. Busy, busy bumblebees. Mm -hmm. I haven't opened it yet. This is by Golden, but when I've researched it, there is a version from Waddington's. Um, but yeah, this is by Golden. It's 1991 and paid £4.07 there. And there's one on eBay for 20 um, which is fully complete. So hopefully if it's fully complete, it's £4.20. And then, if you don't mind this, girl, since I mentioned my yeah. trip. Now this is very cool, but we're kind of not struggling to identify it, but as such, but it's basically a, a big, large, it's not leather, it's probably it's like PU. PU, yeah. Um, Coca Cola duffel bag. It's really, really nice. It's pretty much brand new. I can't really stretch it out. We need to like fill it, don't we? Or something. Yeah. Um, a hold all duffel bag. Yeah, yeah a hold all duffel bag sort of thing. It's really, really nice. It's got gold Coca Cola written all over it. Even the. Um, they're like little, yeah, little Coca-Cola bottles. It's really nice, isn't it? Even it's got like the top strap, you know, like the shoulder strap that's kind of wrapped in the end. Yeah, this detaches. Yeah, it um, does, doesn't it? I think you put shoes or like wet stuff, you know, if you went to the gym. Yeah. Um, We think it's vintage. I'm leaning towards vintage because it's so big. Yeah. And, well, you just don't get a lot of bang for your buck anymore, do you? No. You buy a bag. But it's so immaculate, it makes it look new. Apart from that bit there. Yeah, there are a few little scuffs. I think there's a few on the bottom. Um, yeah, I think there's a few on the bottom. But I paid, I think it was £14 pounds for this, which a bit of a punt, but surely it's, well, I don't know. I say, we can't find one over We found one similar, similar, which went for about 50 I think. Mm -hmm. um, but that was smaller and slightly different. Mm. So I don't know. I don't know. I mean, in the comments, if you've got any idea, mm. um, about this or where it might be from. There's no ticket on it that we can see yeah. on the inside. Yeah, I've got a Primark ticket on. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just, I really don't know, but it's really, really nice. Um, so I'm sure it's worth some decent money, but it's how much? To somebody, isn't it? Yeah, but how much, we're just not so sure. And um, then I've got a set of Cloverleaf um, placemats and boxed, which is always a bonus, paid two pounds. They're pretty standard. There's nothing really spectacular about them that I'm aware of. Um, could do with a bit of a clean up. That one's got some stuff on it. Oh, that one looks a bit damaged as well. Um, but yeah, they've got like the gold edging. Don't and see placemats these days. We don't they? see placemats. Christmas. Yeah, we don't particularly mm. use placemats. But the box, two pounds. Might be able to get fifteen for them. So oh, sorry, just a bit pounds. of turnover, really. Yeah. Yeah. Two pound couldn't really leave them. I bought this as a little bit of nostalgia. I used to love Mr. Bean as a kid. Somebody had to. <laughs> <laughs> You're not keen on really. it. No. I suppose it's an acquired taste, but. Mr. Bean, Mr. Bean, the game. I've never seen it before. It was two pounds on eBay. I think I've seen between ten and fifteen pounds. So still some easy money to be made. But I just thought it was really cool. So I got it. it. It's heavy. There's a lot of parts to it. I can see there the contents. There is quite a number of things. So there's quite a high chance that there'll be something not there. But <laughs> equally, two pounds. I don't I think, think that's that's, that's the thing, thing, isn't it? Like if it's heavy, it means there's a lot in it. Yeah. But it also means that there's a lot more could be missing. That's right. Absolutely. Um, this we ran out of your time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. So this 
We've just picked this up. Again, a bit of a pun. It is Leonardo collection, and I don't really normally look at these things. I'm sure there are some that are, are worth money. Are, but, um, but this is a, it's one from Strictly Come Dancing, I believe. Well, Strictly Ballroom Foxtrot 2007. Um, it's in immaculate condition. It's still got its little tag on it. It says Lesser and Pavey Design England. I'll be honest, we paid £12, I think, £12.95. I'll have to do a bit of research, really, to know how much it's worth. Um, I did find one, I think it was on for 40 but whether it's worth 40 I don't know. But that's what made me pick it up. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, a bit of a punt, but you never know. It's very nice, as I say. Um, down here, then. <coughs> Two, bless you. Two yep. more things. This. So this is like a, what? <laughs> Something's just falling out of here, I think. Oh no, it's alright. <laughs> uh, Disney, well, it was list, It was written down as Disney Game Box includes Bingo, Dominoes, what's that? Checkers. And, did you say checkers? Tic-tac-toe. Oh yeah, sorry, checkers, Bingo, tic -tac -toe. Dominoes, Tic-tac-toe. It was £9, Not some but it's a Disney store. Sorry. It is a Disney store um, thing. And when I did do some research, it's like Disney Disney Princess Games. Oh, I don't know, box for that. Yeah, I did find this. Quite good condition, to be fair. Yeah. So the hopefully the corners are a little bit worn, but nothing, nothing major. Hopefully, it's all in there. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It was worth decent money. Yeah. It was decent money. 30 to 40 from memory. It's a very sturdy thing. It's wooden, which yeah. is quite rare, to be fair, isn't it? I mean, normally stuff like this is plastic. Yeah. Um, and it's fairly weighty as well. It is heavy, yeah. It's yeah. to ship. Yeah. But I don't think, as I said, I don't think there's many around. And the one that I did saw was worth it. So £9 into 30 to 40. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, and then the last thing that we've got, which is slowly falling apart. <laughs> Anyway. Yeah, we did drop it. It's a little bit like a micro machines, um, macro car. It's got more folding out bits. Oh, that's like the car shooter, but it just comes oh, yeah. a Lightning McQueen. And who's that? Duck. Hmm, I think. Yeah. I have no idea. I'm going to express myself. And then the Mac. Oh, no, it's Hudson Hornet. Hudson the Hornet. Duck. Um, Mac, which goes at the front. He's got a little speaker, so he must make some noise. Maybe likes as well. Oh, I don't Tell you what though, you don't realise how old this is. Like, my brother was big into this mm. when he was a kid. We watched it near enough every day for about three years. <laughs> but he turns 21 this week. Yeah. So Cars is not like a new thing, but it still sells really well. Yeah, it does. Kids still lot. absolutely love it. I don't know if it's got a year on it. Disney Pixar. 2000s. Maybe it's the one yeah. so it's a bit of a nice thing. Yeah. But yeah, it does, does always sell pretty well. Mm. We just have to figure out how it goes together. It's always fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Everything. I think so. Everything that we've Yeah, everything we've bought recently. this sort of last Yeah, the last week, week or so. so. Yeah. 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 Um Do you want to talk about YouTube? Yeah. Um, talk about, uh, where's the, how do I see the ones that, sorry, I thought I, that one. Oh yeah. Yeah. And always say thank you. Yeah. Should we move all this shit down? So we had um, some really nice messages from everybody. Um, yeah, YouTube has been surprising, really. We didn't, we didn't think, we didn't think anybody to watch. Yeah, <laughs> I, used, I used to joke. One of my mates from a career gone by. Um, he's got his own YouTube channel, and he does like like self help videos yeah. and things like that. And he's really motivated. He does videos all the time. And I always used to joke. You know, I wonder if we get you know as many views as him. And he used to get like seventy views per video or something. We've done three videos, and we're like. 
Yeah, it's, it's crazy. We really didn't think we were that interesting. No, no. <laughs> but it just shows, like, the retailer community. Absolutely. And, like, all the retailers that have been shouting us out and things. It's really cool. It's great, isn't it? And it's 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 research, you know. We, we watch YouTubers for to see what they're buying, so we know what to look mm. out for. And now, you know, you might see a Disney Princess games compendium and you might think, oh. Yeah, it's worth something. I know that that's worth something. So yeah. you can't have And I think, I think you do do it when you're out and about. Mm. You know, yeah, if you, you have do. it in the back of your mind, oh, somebody picked that up. You might not remember who at the time, but it's worth picking up. Yeah, definitely. Um, but we did have a question um, from Leanne Hill, yep. 748, mm -hmm. that we wanted to answer. Yep. Um, so it says, hi, Jess and Lewis, can you do a video about, about what you did before RE work? Do you still have paid, paid employment? What does class of 93 refer to, etc.? How and why did you get into reselling? It's always interesting to find out things like that. I agree. I agree. Who's going first, me? Um, well, we'll start with um, Class 93. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. that's an easy... Yeah, Class 93 is just an easy one. When we were trying to think of a name for what we were going to call our eBay shop, um, we had one thing in common, and it was born in 1993. Yeah, we were literally born two days apart. Yeah. Uh, so 93 is our year. Um, obviously, we left school at the same time, but no one wants to say Class of 9. No. <laughs> yeah. So... We didn't go to sixth form together. Not that we really knew no, each other, yeah, did we? Yeah. But... But um, um, even then, class of 11, can't just have a ring to it. No, but class of 93 works, doesn't yeah. it? It sounds quite good. Yeah, so we just, everything became 93. Yeah. Um, You've got to call it something, haven't you? Yeah, line. definitely. And, and yeah, it just sort of rolled from there, didn't it? Yeah. People tend to know now that if it's got 93 in it, it's something to do with us too. When it's yeah, like within our family and friends, well, it's just women. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's right. Um, yeah. And then what did you do before? Well, my story is when COVID happened, so I'm a pilot um, by trade, if trade. it's a trade. Yeah. Um, and when COVID happened, I was put on furlough, so I wasn't flying. I was still employed, luckily, but I wasn't flying. Um, they, they were constantly doing redundancies, which was Yeah, they were, scary. which was a little bit scary. So I was kind of trying to think of something to do. And then I think... I can't remember if we both came across it or saw no, Nick and Andrew. You. I was yeah. still working because at the time I worked for the NHS. Yeah, he was, was still working at a hospital, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah which terrifying. Was awful. Um, and then yeah, you were just trying to trying to find something to make a bit of extra money in case. Yeah, that's the it. The worst happened. Oh yeah, so the first thing I did was I bought all those um, mobile phone cases, didn't I, from America? Yeah. Oh, not America, it's China. from China. <laughs> um, I bought loads of them, and they were selling. Yeah. yeah. But. There's so many cases on eBay, as mm. you can imagine. But yeah, they were selling, and, you know, a little bit of pocket money they were making. Mm. I probably got my money back. Yeah. Um, but then, um, yeah, I came across Nick and Andrew, as I'm sure everybody did. Um, and I saw a video. I don't know if Nick and Andrew did it, but there was a, a video about the um, Question of Sport board game. So I went looking to see if I could find one, and I found one. Yeah, the chances. Right? Yeah, I found one. So, yeah, it just kind of stemmed from there, really. So, kept buying more things from the charity shops. As, as the shops started to open again through COVID, it was a bit up and down. Um, but certainly the second-hand pre-owned um, buys were selling really well because mm. people couldn't go to the shop. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it just stemmed from there, really. Um, then you quit your job at hospital, didn't you, and yeah. got a part-time job. Yeah, um, so I now work um, at a school and I like run the letting, so we have a sports department and then like football clubs, basketball clubs, badminton, they rent out our facilities and I oversee it, keep it clean, tidy, um, so that's an evening job which gives me all day mm. until about 4pm to, to do eBay and it just sort of snowballed from there, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Mm. Um, I then carried on flying but I was part-time at my previous airline. I've since moved airlines, so now I'm full time again. Um, but luckily, I still get quite a lot of time off. Um, mm, it's not yeah. too bad, is it? And the big difference as well, um, I'm based a lot closer to home now, mm -hmm. whereas my base was um, Stansted, so it was a long, long way away. Yeah. Um, which the travelling time ate into my time off. Whereas this, I'm a lot closer to home, so mm. it, it's I can still do the same yeah. eBay and whatnot. You become more of a hobbyist, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I mean. Yeah, because you, you probably take a bit more of the money to top up your part-time salary. Mm -hmm. But at the minute, we're trying to do it to fund our wedding. Um, so that's the goal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah. our story, really. And then, I suppose, other to that, we had our first house at a village sort of down the road. 
We had everything in the spare room. Then we got a storage unit, but then we said, well, why don't we um, get a house with a garage? Then we can have that as our storage unit. We've done that, and now we're kind of outgrowing that. Yeah, yeah probably the rest of your retailers now. It takes over your entire house. It really does. Um, it just sort of pours out. Our death pile sometimes ends up sort of in the hallway, on the oh. landing. Because we just shop too much. <laughs> I, think that's, I think that's... It's the fun of the shopping. Yeah, I think that's a lot about why resellers like reselling. Because yeah. shopping is fun, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you shopping is fun. You think, ooh. Yeah, exactly. So, like, rather than spending your own money on stuff that you don't need, you know. Yeah. Then you can Buy spend your business money. So you get the thrill of shopping, yeah. but then you're also making money at the same time. Yeah, yeah. We had to rein in a little bit by charity shopping, didn't we? Because it was becoming where... Yeah, we it were wasn't buying profitable more. because we were literally spending everything we made <laughs> constantly. Just because it was fun. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Uh, whereas now we've got a goal. Yeah, it? now it's a balance. Yeah. And it, it tops my wage up to, yeah. to what I was earning at the NHS. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so, yeah I think we're in a good place at the minute. Yeah. If, if we, as our house is up for sale, isn't it now? Yeah. A little bit of an experiment just to see if we could get something with the double garage, ideally, or a bit more space. Whether that happened, I don't know. We haven't had any interest in the house. No. If you're looking for a house in Doncaster, though, mm. send us a message. Yeah. Um, but again, yeah, thank you all for the subs. Uh, feel free to ask us some questions, give us some advice if you know that, you know, we've bought something that's just a waste of time or um, you know yeah. something about something we don't, because there's probably a lot of that. Absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, thank you uh, again. Yeah, thank you. And um, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, seems weird saying that. It does, not it? <laughs> I know usually we're watching some else. So. <laughs> yeah, we're looking for subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you again and we'll see you next time. Bye.